So hi everybody, uh, I'm Robert from MJP, together with Patrick from Marel, out on a nice cruise on the Marel M17. So Patrick, tell me about Marel. Marel, it's interesting. Uh, my son uh, said to me when I was out and running and made job for other companies, then they said in uh, middle of, uh, was it 20, uh, 6 I think so. No, father, make your own boat. <clears throat> Don't run around and help others. And then we start Marel. And Marel it's uh, a game with a son's name, Marcus Rasmus Linus, Swedish name. But in English, then this will be M-R-L. So it's easy. Easy. And it's a uh, gift also to them. I think they are proud for it, and we are proud for it. it's a family company. So it's a lot of soul behind it. I have spent a lot of time behind the wheels in different boats, in different conditions. Uh, I have also <coughs> be welder with my own fingers. So when we mixed everything in Marel, so that, 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 that is one of the most important things. I think we know what we're looking for when we made the Marel boat. We, we know what we need to give the client for be success and also have the interesting for us. Of course. It's not just the design. Oh, sorry, design, it's <coughs> from your side. I cannot <laughs> say it's fun or nice, but a lot of people said it's, an, uh, it's a special design. It's not yeah. normal. Maybe it's, it's not design, it's about passion. I think it's a lot of passion. Yeah. And even when we're sitting here, it's not normal. We're sitting in the center, and uh, the time on the Marel. When we start Marel, then we start with the racing. So the sons, they race in uh, his own boat. All three in different boats. Okay. Could you understand? Yeah. That on Friday night with the dinner, if you have the race on the Saturday, <laughs> who will be the champ? Huh? That was not so easy. <laughs> but anyway, uh, we, we take a lot of things from the racing time and put also here. When we're sitting, we're sitting in center, nice helmets. You are uh, integrated in the navigation. Easy to talk with me. When I'm driving, I have everything just, you know, one finger from the wheel. It's really important also when you have the speed, performance, and use it on the evening, then or night, then you, you must found it, even with the blind eyes. Yeah, of course. But you have a number of very successful projects behind you in Marel. You have produced a lot of boats. Yeah, we, uh, we are lucky. Well, you're very professional and everybody yeah. knows the quality you're delivering. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, for sure, thanks. Yeah. But um, I think also it's one, one even there, and key, if you don't are too afraid to do some mistake, no, no. then you can be successful. Of course. We, we, and I think we don't shoot from the You, you side. have to make mistakes yes, yes, in order yes, to be yes, successful. Yes, exactly. And uh, if, you, if you also do something really nice and uh, keep the quality with speed, performance, and everything you have said before, yeah. then they buy it. We start with the first one, the, just a small one, 650, in uh, 2016. So that was the first boat we put on the expedition in Stockholm. Ah, so it's not so so long time ago, but we have made. I don't think we have catch 100 still, but we are between 85, 90 so far. Yeah. And the first year was small boats, but our goal was to be in exactly in the position we are today. But we need to grow. We need to grow with a company name, with a company, and uh, get the brands in the market so everyone talk about us. Yeah. It's easier. Uh, so we don't have so much stress. But that you said, we have some successful for the Norwegian police, firefighters, uh, Swedish police. A lot of things have go in the right hand. Yeah. But for three years ago, when we made the first hybrid boat, in a different project. Then we said, now we are ready to do on the reel. So that's mean we take contact with you, we take contact with Scania, and ask if we should do something special together, mm. complete special. Yeah. And that's mean we need a bigger boat for have the capacity for the speed, 
for the battery and the performance. So we said, we're going to catch 55 knots. That's nice. That's nice. Yeah. And we are so close to 55 now. And uh, I think there was also kind of passion behind for MUP, you know, it's also <coughs> in the backs. Oh, yes. We have worked with MUP when I was teenage. Uh, so now we are finally in uh, Slania together with uh, MUP and in this dream project. So uh, what you can say, the, 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 I really happy with the, the time we spend so we don't stress. No. First of all, everyone wants to stress like a hell. <laughs> But the, in the time we have the project in these two years, still it's in Marel, still in MGP, still in Skåne, but so many things mm. yeah, yeah. grew in the time. Everyone learned by learning. And like you said, for MGP, it's like the first delivery MGP did 1986 was actually to the same town yeah. where your shipyard is located in yes. Sweden. So this project is actually like uh, going back in history for MGP and it's a project with a lot of passion and it's a project uh, where I believe we have been very successful and that's why we're sitting here today in this, this incredible boat that you built. So I think it's a lot of history also in this, uh, for MGP at least. Yeah, but I think it's feels also when you when you see people walking around on the bridges now they feel something special yeah it's different it's different yeah and when people talk also even when MGP talk they have that kind of passion and history yeah even Scania you see in the ice on the Scania also they have also passion yeah. even they are so big company like Scania and we we are really proud we we don't understand what's happened we are just made a boat <laughs> an orange boat <laughs> But it's a it's an all made Sweden boat, you can say. Yeah. Because the whole propulsion line, the boat itself, a lot of equipment is produced in Sweden. Yeah, yeah. We we see it's also the brand belongs to Sweden yeah. or another one. For we have Ullman seat from a family in Gothenburg. Yeah. We have MGP just uh, 20 kilometers from uh, our shipyard. We have Scania and also all kind of uh, <coughs> equipment. So when we talk with the market and clients, for that's been also we have control for everything we put in the boat. Mm. And I believe when you started this project with all this equipment, uh, a lot of people around the world started to look for the outcome of this project. Yeah. Uh, especially the propulsion line. Uh, especially Marel, uh, I think it's been a lot of uh, people who has been interested yeah, in, in this followed. project and followed the project very closely. Um, and of course, now we're sitting here. Uh, it's built. It's uh, it's a great boat, and a lot of people is is kind of impressed by what you have done. Yeah, um, yeah we have done. <clears throat> it's also a risk. Complete new. Of course, it's a risk. Yeah. Uh, that was Life a, is a risk. Yeah, but that was a big risk for you know. <laughs> when you start to talk about it, we have normal. We, Amarel, made it just in our house. But now we have MUP, go also with a flag, and Skåne with yeah. a flag. So we, at that time, we have a little bit more pressure on the shoulder <laughs> to see what we have done for. But anyway, yeah, it's a lot of companies and a lot of people in different corners in the world have follow and we see just now yeah. when we show it first time there are line after line who people will come and test yeah that is really interesting. It's a big interest and, and that the point is we Marel cannot catch the world even you cannot catch the world but together we can make some nice package yeah definitely. for we are selling in different points we show we are strong enough to make a good market yeah yeah and even even for us uh, MJP we we have people all over the world all the time traveling meeting people and uh, so far what I heard is is everybody's interested in this project so it's it's a really good project to bring to the world I would say yeah 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 not only to Sweden we 
this project you brought to the world. Yeah, I'm really proud for when you're walking around just now in the stands, then they said, oh, Marell. And you have also the new MEP on the backside yeah. and the new Scania. <laughs> so uh, they, I'm really impressed how they follow us. Yeah, yeah. No, it's really nice. So should we make some uh, shootout and see what we can... <clears throat> sure, I'm up for it. Now we have just talked about the vote. Now we will see what's happened on the backside. Yeah, go for it. Is there a speed limit here? I think you need to hold on. The idea with the hybrid was uh, when we get the client uh, from <coughs> Stockholm Marine Police and they use it in uh, Frontex yeah. and also how they patrol in Stockholm. When we're looking on the timeline, how they're running with the engine, then we saw they don't use or they, they, they use about 80% of the running time in idle speed. Yeah. So that means more than 80% of the day, they don't pass eight knots. And in that time, we said, well, why are they going to be running around with the engines and burn fuel and noise? Like now, so now we go back to electric. Starboard, electric mode selected. If you're running like this one, full day, or you want to have the diesel, then we ask them, so what is the best? If you go full day like this one, then you can patrol uh, whatever without some burning fuel, noise, smell, nothing. It's it's a ah, it's brilliant. Uh, it's cool. If you're gonna have the power, then you need so much horsepower, and you cannot take care about it if you don't have a water yet. Uh, maneuvering in low speed, it's uh, fantastic. And also, if you have that kind of patrol. When you stay still, then you have a perfect position also. Yeah. And you use this what uh, the DP0. DP DP0, yeah. 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 So you can make your own position where you will make the anchor for the boat. Yeah. But anyway, it's service, it's uh, shell water, you can go to the beach. Uh, the water yet, it's, um, you know. What's it's all time a dream. You're hunting for have a water jet in your boat. If you put water jet in the boat, then you're in the <laughs> right position. Yeah. Yeah, for so, sure. For you, everyone cannot do it. No, no, no. For sure. For sure. So, what's the draft of the boat? Uh, Seventy-five centimeter. Yeah. Seventy-five. Wh which is less than a than a normal pleasure boat. Yeah, 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 yeah. You can say. Yeah. So you can really go in the shell water, but the perfect is when you go to the beach. And again, maneuvering. You see, when we are in the harbor, you can maneuver it in just a small centimeter. It comes directly. Yeah, yeah. No, I mean maneuverability of uh, of uh, water jets. You cannot even compare that to conventional propellers. No, with rudders, it's it's something completely different. But yeah. that means also you need a body for put the water. Yeah, yeah of course. You need it's, a good good hull. Yeah, yeah, yeah and uh, yeah, good hull. But you need also the space. Oh, ah, yeah. The yeah. boat cannot be too short and too small. The body must take care of the yeah, the trust. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Definitely. So from we start with Marel, then all time we had dream to have this exactly that one with MGP, but we don't know exactly in that moment what kind of engine we should have. But Scania is same. It's Sweden and yeah, but it's also about timing because Scania had this e-machine yeah. launching. Exactly, which was uh, very suitable for your project, I would yeah. say. So, um, so the diesel, the e-machine, and the MGP water jets—it's a great combination, uh, and I think it's a successful boat. And in the right time, you said. And in the right it's time, it's complete in the right time. Yes, we we have talked about it before. A kind of risk. It's so many parameter can go wrong. Yeah. When you put the water jet inside. And uh, the market, they don't understand the risk we put it in for <clears throat> all time. They ask for what not you put on the paper. Yeah. How 
what speed you put on the, what number you put on the paper. Yeah. And if you put the number on the paper, like now, here you see, if you put 50, and we just get 49.2, <laughs> then it's a hell. <laughs> so that is one of the reasons why we have wait so long time to be <clears throat> strong enough for found out a nice and good uh, shape of the hull. Yeah. So we can have a lot of powerful machine. Yeah. yeah. Forget the speed. But uh, it's also been some fine tuning along the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you don't need to stress in that moment. No. If you have the time to fine tune, yeah, you'll get yeah. it exactly. Yeah, yeah. A lot of people ask why we don't put the water yet before, but I think it's uh, again, it's uh, time. Yeah. And also, you must find the time where you can find the open door for the market. Yeah, definitely. For it, so many companies made boats with water yet. And then again, now we found it with the hybrid and the speed. Yeah. It's a bit tricky to pass 50 knots with a 20, 25 ton. One thing is for sure, you feel when I make the turn, uh, what a grip we have. Yeah. We don't have some air in. No slippage. No, no slippers. But if you normal race in uh, 35 knots and make this sharp turning, then it starts to ventilation yeah, directly yeah. and slipped. Yeah. So again, we, we have some special yeah, yeah. thing in the hull and then we are really proud for. You have the Morel thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. I think. But I, I, uh, I think with the water jets, you have maneuverability, uh, how to say, it's easier maneuverability than a conventional outboard yeah, or yeah. conventional propeller boat. Um, on a conventional propeller boat, you might have a boat thruster. In this case, you don't need a boat thruster. You have, you have the power to turn the boat with the joystick however you want, more or less. Yeah, all time. Yeah. It's just to have the spray in the water, in the water yet. Yes. So, so long time the water you're pumping the water, yeah. then you have the maneuver. Yeah. And, and it's no, a 360 and degree uh, turning force with the water yet. So now we're doing a 360 on the spot. That is crazy maneuvering. So we did a 360 without burning any fuel. Yeah, so easy, so easy. Patrick, thank you very much for a nice uh, tour. Thank you. It's been a great uh, journey so far. I hope it's not over yet. <laughs> just start. Just started. Just started. Yes, just started. Um, so this was a little bit behind the scenes on the Morel M17 uh, hybrid propulsion. And uh, for more information, please visit uh, marinejetpower.com or morelboats.com. Thank you very much.